people ask the question. <laughs> it, it, ain't, it, ain't, it ain't even worth asking because it was a one-way deal. It only one man controlled it. And that was Devin Haney. The boxing world was stunned when highly respected lightweight contender Devin Haney sparred with pound-for-pound -pound King Terrence Crawford, resulting in what was supposed to be a routine session escalating into a chaotic brawl. Reports indicated a heated argument led to a full-blown altercation, with Crawford's frustration reaching a boiling point, culminating in a forceful left hook that sent Haney crashing to the ground. The gym turned into a scene of turmoil, and Haney was swiftly taken to the hospital due to severe injuries, including facial fractures. This incident has sparked concerns regarding the hazards of sparring and has raised questions about Crawford's ability to control his emotions. In an effort to seek justice, Bill Haney, Devin's father and mentor, has taken a significant step by filing a substantial $100 million lawsuit against Terrence Crawford. The lawsuit asserts that Crawford's actions not only showed a complete disregard for sportsmanship, but also caused severe physical harm to Devin. Bill Haney, recognized for his unwavering support, stands resolutely against what he views as a brutal attack, endangering Devin's well-being and future in the sport. Legal documents disclose that Bill Haney is seeking recompense for medical expenses, potential earnings lost, and the harm done to Devin's reputation. The lawsuit vividly portrays the traumatic incident, depicting a training session that turned into a violent clash, resulting in Devin being hospitalized with severe injuries. Yesterday, the boxing world was stunned by a massive upheaval as highly respected lightweight contender Devin Haney found himself in the hospital after a sparring session with pound-for-pound -pound king Terrence Crawford. At a private training facility in Las Vegas, what started as a routine sparring session between Terrence Crawford and Devin Haney escalated into a full-blown conflict resembling an all-out war. Witnesses described an initially smooth session where both fighters showcased their skills with mutual respect, but tensions soared as Crawford's frustration with Haney's defensive abilities grew. The situation reached a breaking point when Crawford, in a fit of anger, unleashed a powerful left hook that took Haney by surprise, causing him to crash to the ground and turning the gym into a scene of chaos. Consumed by rage, Crawford continued to aggressively attack Haney, completely altering what was meant to be a training session into a bitter rivalry. Trainers and security personnel stepped in to intervene, yet Haney was left unconscious his face covered in blood and his body severely battered. Paramedics were urgently called, rushing Haney to the hospital where he remains in serious but stable condition, grappling with multiple facial fractures and internal injuries. A startling incident has rippled across the boxing community, raising concerns about the dangers of sparring sessions and the potential for serious injuries. Crawford, recognized for his intense competitive spirit, now finds himself under a barrage of criticism for his actions. Many are not just questioning his prowess in the ring, but also his judgment and ability to manage his emotions. As the commotion settles following the explosive clash between Devin Haney and Terrence Crawford, a legal storm looms on the horizon. Bill Haney, the father and mentor of the young boxing prodigy, has taken a firm stance by initiating a bold $100 million lawsuit against Terrence Crawford. This legal battle aims to seek justice for Devin, accusing Crawford of not only disregarding the principles of sportsmanship, but also causing severe physical harm. The legal battleground blazes with a father's unwavering determination to hold Crawford accountable for endangering his son's well-being and future in the sport. The lawsuit vehemently accuses Terrence Crawford of not just violating sportsmanship principles, but also inflicting severe physical harm on Devin Haney, portraying Crawford's actions as a clear disregard for decency. Bill Haney, known for steadfastly supporting his son's career, takes an unyielding stance against what he sees as a brutal attack jeopardizing Devin's future in the unforgiving realm of boxing. Unveiling Crawford's alleged wrongdoings, the legal documents lay bare Bill Haney's quest for justice, seeking restitution for the alleged transgressions. Haney is seeking compensation for an array of grievances, encompassing medical expenses, lost potential earnings, and the damage inflicted upon Devin's hard-earned reputation as a professional athlete. The lawsuit vividly portrays a distressing picture of the traumatic incident, vividly detailing a training session that escalated into a violent clash, ultimately resulting in Devin Haney's hospitalization 
condition under severe conditions. Boxing legend Floyd Mayweather has entered the narrative surrounding Devin Haney's sparring clash with Terence Crawford. Mayweather visited Haney in the hospital, and his remarks have sent shockwaves through the boxing world. Mayweather conveyed that Devin Haney's condition is extremely serious, heightening concerns about the severity of the injuries sustained during the intense sparring session. The boxing icon reportedly expressed profound concern about Haney's career's potential impact, hinting that the young contender's future in the sport might be significantly at risk due to Haney's struggle with severe injuries. Mayweather's visit to the hospital adds a serious dimension to the already intense situation. The uncertainty surrounding Haney's recovery and its potential impact on his career has become a central topic of discussion within the boxing community. In a surprising twist, boxing legend Floyd Mayweather paid a visit to the hospitalized Devin Haney, injecting a new layer of drama into the ongoing narrative surrounding the aftermath of the altercation with Terence Crawford. Mayweather's presence at the hospital sparked speculation about his motives and feelings toward the young contender. I was concerned about Devin's well-being and wanted to see him for myself. He's a young, talented fighter with a promising future, and I hope he makes a swift recovery, Mayweather stated. Reports indicate that Mayweather, a seasoned veteran renowned for his strategic and calculated approach both in and out of the ring, took a keen interest in Devin Haney's condition. Reportedly, during the visit, a nurse purportedly conveyed to Mayweather that Devin might not be able to return to the ring again. This revelation has further fueled the already intense controversy, heightening the significance and consequences of the incident. Mayweather expressed, I don't condone what happened between Devin and Terrence, but I'm not here to assign blame. My focus is solely on Devin's health and safety. The potential prognosis of the situation potentially ending Devin's career would deal a significant blow to his aspirations and to the broader boxing world. Devin Haney is widely acknowledged as one of the sport's emerging stars, thus such a prognosis could have far-reaching implications. Mayweather's involvement in this unfolding drama raises questions about his perspective on the severity of the situation and his relationship with both fighters involved. As the boxing community eagerly awaits official statements from Mayweather, his role in this narrative becomes an area of curiosity and intrigue. The atmosphere surrounding the incident involving Devin Haney and Terence Crawford remains charged with uncertainty and speculation. Mayweather's visit to the hospital adds an intriguing dimension, suggesting that the aftermath of the sparring session reaches beyond legal battles and financial claims, potentially altering the trajectory of Haney's promising career. I know Devin is a fighter, and he'll overcome this setback. He'll return to the ring stronger than ever, stated Gervonta Davis, known for not shying away from controversy. Davis recently entered the discussion surrounding the Devin Haney Terrence Crawford incident with some provocative comments. Davis implied that the happenings in the sparring session might be a form of karmic retribution, suggesting that negative actions might come back around. The implication here is that Davis believes Haney might have engaged in questionable practices within the boxing world. Davis specifically accused Devin Haney of using performance-enhancing drugs, a serious allegation that can significantly damage a boxer's reputation. In Davis's view, Terence Crawford stepping into the ring with Haney was, according to his comments, a form of justice or retribution for what he perceives as Haney's wrongdoing. This provocative statement from Gervonta Davis adds a compelling layer to the ongoing drama, delving into issues beyond the physical altercation itself. Accusations of drug use carry substantial weight in the realm of professional sports, and Davis's comments suggest a belief that Crawford, by confronting Haney, was taking a stance against perceived misconduct. Amidst the chaos following Devin Haney's sparring clash with Terence Crawford, another influential figure, Gervonta Davis, entered the realm of controversy. Davis had openly expressed his desire to face Haney, driven by allegations of drug use and a determination to teach him a lesson in the ring. The much-anticipated showdown between Davis and Haney was scheduled for May, promising an intense rivalry and a clash between two formidable fighters. However, with Haney now hospitalized due to severe injuries from the Crawford incident, the eagerly anticipated bout has been pushed aside. The postponement of the Davis versus Haney matchup adds an element of suspense to an already emotionally charged situation. Gervonta Davis, known for his straightforward approach, now finds himself in a holding pattern, awaiting Haney's recovery and the rescheduling of their highly anticipated showdown. 
At 135, he was essentially dominating due to his size advantage, as many of his opponents were noticeably smaller in the ring. In fights like his last one against Lomachenko or against Cambosos, you could clearly see the difference in size. He's always been the larger man there. Moving up to 140 and facing Progre, it's a different challenge. Progre presents a significant challenge due to his size. It's tough for Haney to overpower or contend against someone of equal or larger stature. Much of Haney's success stemmed from his size advantage in the competitive world of professional boxing, where skill clashes and crowd fervor take center stage. Two emerging talents. Gervonta Davis and Devin Haney were set to spark an epic spectacle. Their highly anticipated bout, slated for May, promised to be a pivotal moment in their careers, a defining juncture that would carve their legacies into the history of boxing. However, destiny intervened, casting a cloud of uncertainty over the eagerly anticipated showdown. Just days before the scheduled clash, Devin Haney found himself sidelined and hospitalized after a sparring session with Terence Crawford. The intended preparation for the Davis fight turned into a brutal encounter, inflicting serious injuries on Haney, leading to the postponement of the highly awaited showdown. The boxing community was collectively stunned by this unforeseen turn of events. The excitement that had been building for months surrounding the rivalry between Davis and Haney was abruptly replaced by a sense of disappointment and uncertainty. Gervonta Davis, known for his unwavering self-confidence and determination, expressed his frustration in a candid interview without holding back. I was prepared to confront Haney and expose him for the alleged cheating, but now he's evading, hiding behind his injuries. He's a coward, aware that he can't defeat me fairly, asserted Gervonta Davis, his tone edged with frustration. In contrast, Haney remained resolute, refusing to yield ground despite the escalating rivalry between them. Despite these setbacks, Haney remained unwavering in his determination to regain his position among the top lightweights. So, that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned and we will catch you in the next video.